Hello, greetings everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm here to do a worship and praise life. Please excuse my voice. She's going to have to help me to be, to be able to sing because I'm a little horse, not very much. I hope that you are doing good. So give me a few minutes. Let me share the live.
Greetings everyone, Jesus Mighty here. So please give me a few minutes while I share the live. I hope that you are doing good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. <clears throat> There is none like you, no one else can touch my heart like you do, and I'll search for all eternity, Lord, and find there. Like you, and there is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Hello, Kessa, Miss Kessa, I guess. And I will search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. In the Be left 
Jesus Christ, uh, I hope that you all are doing well. And of course, I'm going to be doing some praise and worship. But before I do so, I want to read two verses from Acts chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. So before I started the line I was reading, I felt in my spirit I needed to read Acts chapter 7. And while I was reading, I realized the chapter is quite long. And when I reached verse 9 and verse 10, I just felt like I needed to stop right there. So I'm going to read those two verses. And it says that, And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with him. This was um, Stephen was speaking while he was on trial before this, um, the elders, the Pharisees, the scribes that wanted um, to try him because he was preaching about Jesus. And verses 10 says that, And delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh king of Egypt and he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. I'm going to read this again. This is from taken from Acts chapter 7 verses 9 and 10. I'm reading from the King James Version and it says and the patriarchs moved with envy sold Joseph into Egypt but God was with him and delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and made him governor over Egypt and all his house. I do not know why I felt in my spirit to, to read that particular chapter and to stop at those two verses, but God alone knows, and probably depending on how you worship the spirit of the Lord flow in his worship. Maybe he may tell me something. But this scripture is referring to the fact that Joseph's brothers 
sold him because they meant evil. But God turned that around for good, right? God turned it around for good because not only that Joseph was just uh, a child of God through his father, um, Jacob being called of God, but um, Joseph was also faithful to God, especially when it came to the point when Potiphar's wife tempted him to um to sleep with um to sleep with um with her but because he feared god and he said how can i do such wickedness he never fell right so as we give god praise tonight we give god honor we give god glory know that somebody could get their healing tonight it is not my power it is not by might nor is it by power but it is by the spirit of the living god right i don't have no power in myself or the power comes from jesus it comes from him but the bible says with our faith it is impossible to please god so in order for us to get those things that we want from god in order for us to get those things that god have in store for us we ought to act on faith and as a result of acting on faith we need to have the works necessary to make that thing come to pass right so as we give all the praise and the glory I hope that whosoever comes on watching this, whatever you believe in God for, you can believe God in faith. I've seen a lot of things happen in praise for me, right? And it can happen to you, but you have to believe. You have to also believe for yourself, right? Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. 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 See you. 
Hallelujah is the highest praise to Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah is the highest praise to the King of Glory. Hallelujah is the highest praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah. Unto the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun, unto the setting of the same, your name deserves a praise. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the power. You deserve all the praise. It belongs to you, Lord. It belongs to you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for your goodness, Lord. We thank you for your love, Lord. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your healing power, God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For your name is great and greatly to Your name is great, Lord, for your name is great and is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, I sing praises to your name. Praises to your name, oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised, and I sing praises to Because your name is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Lord. Your name is exalted high above the earth. Your name is high above the heavens. Your name is high, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory belongs to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are well, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Lord. You are well in Hallelujah. You deserve all the praise. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve the praise. And the honor, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. God. 
We worship you, Jesus. You are mighty, mighty, mighty. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. chapter 7 verses 9 and 10 which says that and the patriarchs moved with envy um so joseph into egypt but he sorry but god was with him this was stephen was speaking um before the council when he was tried after he was preaching jesus and he was speaking about how his joseph's brothers envied him and sold him but god was with him Sometimes we go through stuff and we wonder if God is not with us. But God says that what the enemy meant for evil, God is going to take that and turn it around for good. Right? And God also says that everything in our lives work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to God's purpose. Who says, tell us, tell us that. And deliver him out of his afflictions and give him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and made him govern, governor over Egypt and his house. This is what happens, even though things may look bad, as long as we remain faithful to God, as long as we remain faithful to God, God will make a way. He will open doors. He will give you favor. You just have to remain faithful to him. No matter what his situation look like. No matter what his circumstances look like. Joseph was going through a situation where he, his brothers hated him because his father loved him more than all the others. And his father gave him a gift as in a beautiful, colorful coat. And they knew that their father favored him. And as a result, they were looking seeking ways to get rid of him but at the end of the day god was with joseph even when they they plotted to kill him and one of the brothers said don't kill him throw him in the pit right and then they sold him into slavery and joseph went to slavery did he deserve that no he didn't deserve it but god was setting him up to be second in command after pharaoh right everything works together for good for the children for to them that love god once you are a true child believer in christ everything as long as you remain faithful to god everything in your life is working out for the good and for your good the enemy will try to get you to give up to stop but just keep holding on 
just keep holding on because the enemy does not want us to get the things that we'll have in so us. The enemy don't want us to get those things, right? So we must not give up. And then when Joseph went into Egypt, he was a slave. He was um he was working as a slave. And then um Potiphar, he was under Potiphar, and then when Potiphar saw that he was a faithful man of God, and because um, he feared God. Potiphar trusted him and God uh, allowed Joseph to get favor in the eyes of Potiphar first. And Potiphar um, promoted Joseph in his house. He was second after Joseph. But then the enemy does not take his eyes off of people. That's what we put it on the side. When God promotes you, when God allows you to get a promotion, the enemy is not going to give up on you. Now the enemy used Potiphar's wife to come around Joseph to try to tempt him to sleep with her but he feared God and and of course he refused to do this thing but the enemy is so wicked that Potiphar's wife lied when she was so desperate that she realized that this thing not working out she lied and told her husband that Joseph tried to to rape her in other words when she was the one trying to make him uh, sleep with her right and uh, then joseph was innocently you now put into prison so joseph was going through trials it looked like things was was um he was getting through it looked like he was going places it looked like things was getting easier for him but the enemy had his eyes on him but even though the enemy allowed Potiphar's wife to do such a thing god did not give up on joseph Joseph in the prison, when he, um, the, the top officer in the prison realized that Joseph was a man of God, he saw this in him. Joseph now got promoted in the prison. And then two of Pharaoh's uh, servants, the chief baker, or the top baker, and the top butler, was thrown into prison. And God had to be God, allowed them to have dreams and they were they could not understand their dreams and as a result of that somehow joseph had that in that gift to interpret dreams and because of that um joseph joseph didn't just sit down there he he used his gift that's why the bible says a gift will make room fail a lot of people sitting out on their gifts and they asking god i want this i want that god i'm hungry i want food and god gave us the resources god gave us the talents god gave us the gifts the things that um will get us or sustain us in this life even for his ministry and everything that he has us as has placed us on this good for and if we don't use it then it's not god to blame right and joseph used his gift and interpreted the dream of the baker when not the baker that was the, the butler first and then when the baker heard that the uh butler's interpretation of that dream was um very pleasant he wanted his dream also interpreted and he got it but his story was not a nice story was not a nice ending and just as joseph interpreted it it was like interpreting a dream as in a prophetic dream the same thing happened and joseph told um the butler that was the one who was going to be restored in his position he said when you come out of this prison to remember me to get me out of here because i am in this place innocently and you know just like how probably some of us might have experienced this sometimes we tell people to help us and they forget us but there's always going to come a time when God is going to allow something that they will remember us. And that's what happened to Joseph. The Bible said two years later, Pharaoh had a dream. None of his magicians, none of his servants could have interpreted that dream. However, the butler now remembered Joseph. The butler now remembered Joseph. And he told Pharaoh about Joseph interpreting his dream when he was in prison. And now was the time for Joseph to come out and stay on forever and reap whatever God had in store for him. And Joseph came out and Joseph used his, his talent, his, well, should I say third time based on the biblical record, right? And when Joseph did that and interpreted the dream and told Pharaoh that he needed to get an appropriate person who is suitable to carry on this mission so that the famine when it comes will not consume um egypt pharaoh said in uh, in my own words he said who is better than you 
God speaking to you in my own words and his paraphrasing. I am, he basically told Joseph, you are the most suitable person. And because of that, Joseph used his gift and he was also faithful to God. He was not just faithful to God. You have to be faithful to God, but you also have to use what God gave us. Our talents of gifts, and as a result of that, Joseph was second in command in in Egypt. And after that, they come like should I say a Cinderella ending. Joseph lived happily ever after. So everything that we're going through is a process. Eventually, I believe based on Joseph's story, I believe that there will come a point in our life once we don't give up. Now, we will reach that place like how Joseph reached that palace and never went through no kind of persecution again. But we have to go through now to get there. And how much people willing to get there? Some of us tend to be impatient, but we don't. We have to ask God to help us to be patient. Anyways, I pray that this was blessed. You all have, you all have a wonderful night, morning, day. I don't know what time it is. You are maybe watching this video. So have a blessed one. Take care and know that God will always be with his children as long as we remain faithful to him, right? As long as we remain right with him. He will see us through. He will carry us through. He will always be there. He will always make ways as long as we remain faithful to him. Take care in Jesus' name. Goodbye.